<laughs> welcome back, welcome back. Let's give it. I want to get copyright. There you go. One more, one more. <laughs> Welcome back. We're back. We're live. Close for lunch. Welcome. Fuck, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Okay, here we go. Make sure my phone is off. I think, Holy I think we're live. Holy shit. Okay. First off, I got to say, welcome back. Bam! Second off, I got to... Oh God, I got to get comfortable. I know. I'm all over they? the place. Look it. We're fine. R.I.P. Yeah, a lot of people are dying. R.I.P. to or. Teen T. Boone Pickens. T. Boone Pickens. Okay? Fuck that guy. <laughs> R.I.P. Slash fuck that guy. Rest in pieces. All right? This guy was a billionaire oil tycoon from Oklahoma or some shit, some fucking hillbilly that, cl- <laughs> that climbed out of the hillbilly ranks and got to the top of white people-ness. And <laughs> ran oil, and he gave a bunch of money to the fucking school, and he used to drive around and wear the same shit the coaches wear, yeah, you know? Yeah, the Pickens, uh, he would wear the, the picking clothes. Uh, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he is most famous for, he's just some billionaire oil dickhead, and he's most famous for... How are you going to diss sh- dog? Fuck him. He's most famous for shareholder activism. Shareholder activism is the stockholders, right? Shareholders, old shares in the company, the fucking rich people that own the stocks, put pressure on the company to do what they want, regardless of how the company, if it's like a family company, or if they have certain values or whatever. She, what do shareholders really value the company? Do they go, oh man, that company stands for something? They well, just care they about that money. Got to get that money, right? Yeah. So well, he, I'm a shareholder. He's fucking. So Most gotta, famous, internationally famous for starting that, for starting the the whole, for creating a dangerous topa. Yeah. And manifesting that shareholders now have say in company policy. So, fuck T Boone. T Boone Pickens. Every time the the like. I was gonna talk about Michael Fox Bolton, News, dog, or every, whatever. Every time you don't know nothing about Michael Bolton, so I don't want to talk about Michael Bolton. Oh, okay. What do you know about Michael Bolton? That is that's real, not even his name. That's his real name. No, it's not. They probably changed it, dog. Yeah. John Bolton. And what does he do? Well, he looks like I don't know a enough funny about guy. It. That's why he's, I stopped talking about he's Trump. He's got a funny because face. I have no idea about it. I don't care anymore. And it's they, too and much. He's got a funny mustache. It's annoying. And he always wants to go to war. And he always wants to go to war. Fuck that guy. Fuck him. <laughs> R.I.P. to fired. John Bolton, too. Yeah, he's fired. Michael. Fuck him. Fuck them both. Okay. Number two. Three. Number two, because I don't even count that one. <laughs> it's 9 11. Nobody wants to talk about John Michael Bolton. Dog. That's ridiculous. It's 9 11. He has a big mustache. It's 9 11, dog. Right? Never forget. And you know what we'll never forget on 9 11? Building seven. Wrong. That Brett and Schaub outed Joe Rogan for cheating ah, on his wife. <laughs> ah, oh, Dog. Okay. Yum. So they put up that King of the Sting shit on Thursdays. They put it up last Thursday. There's a guy that called. They do little fucking relationship advice or just like stupid call-ins. People do a little video, you know, one minute clip. Send it in. Okay. They pick them. They talk about it on the show. <coughs> Bald man. Bald man. Calls in, and he goes, hey, man, I'm kind of going bald. I, I don't know how you guys feel about, you know, bald guy. I always wear a lot of hats. He goes, I don't know how you feel about bald guys. Gang, gang, bald, picking bald. Up, <laughs> picking up chicks, right? That, the whole thing was picking up chicks. I got to want to get some bitches. Yeah. Is it okay because I'm bald? How do you think? Do you think I'm you get more older, girls, yeah. not girls, right? What do I do? That's what the guy's question was about. Okay. So the entire context is about getting bitches, getting your dick wet. While you're bald. Right. Brennan Schaub is a fucking idiot. He goes, I know plenty of bald guys out there that are slanging dick right now. Dana White, Joe Rogan. (laughs) Yeah. Gang, gang, ball, ball. Gang, gang, ball, ball. And then they change it, dog. And then we have to take our episode down. 
You know, they're so Put it stupid back up with the cut. Because it's their, it's the software, right? Okay. The software. The algorithm? Yeah, that, that, you know, you move your face, or when somebody else starts talking, it, it, it cuts to them, right? Because they're not doing it. They're not sitting there switching the shit, right? Oh, yeah, they Only, got the thing. Right? They the, got the fancy the thing. The slang thing, slang TV or whatever. Sling box. Uh-huh. So he goes, looks at the camera, he goes, oh, fuck. And they start talking about something else, right? Some people caught it, some people didn't, whatever, whatever, you know? Okay. Uh, he goes, that was Thursday. Airs on Thursday, probably filming on Wednesday, whatever. Saturday is the Khabib fight, and they do oh, the, and they do the fucking fight companion, right? I didn't watch it until after all this shit started rolling. Yeah. On the fight companion, they were punking the fuck out of Brendan. They were fucking yeah. with him the whole time, and they were like, <laughs> oh, well, yeah, you know, like Brian Callen said, oh, sorry for interrupting you. And Joe Rogan, like under his breath, was like, no, that happens a lot. A lot of people do that, uh, you know? Uh, and Eddie Bravo said some tongue-in-cheek shit about... Uh, uh-oh. People on Netflix not being having comedy specials but not being funny, and then he did like pretty. He didn't do it as blatantly as Brendan Schaub, like oh, but he looked at him real quick, like a lot of people are not funny on Netflix. You know, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't move his head though. He's slick, Joe fucking Eddie Bravo, is slick. Eddie Bravo. So then, I'm all fucking all over it, right? I'm thinking like, oh, what's going on? Let me check this out. Yeah, this check is this ridiculous, out, right? Because this beige frequency thing has been happening. Yeah. Well, what? Right, the dog. He's just a YouTube you know? channel. Okay. Beige, Help me out here. Beige frequency. It's a okay. just a YouTube guy. I'm, okay. And he fucking checks people. He checks people when people are lying or when people like, especially comedy people. Okay. You know, or when people are bullshitting. He calls or, people out on their yeah, shit. Yeah. Calls people out on being fake. So he has like a Jim Jeffries video. He has an Amy Schumer video. He has like other videos. You know why? Okay. All know, these different people doing these entitled thing. people. You know. Yeah. Not like just any old buddy, like, oh, this guy's a piece of shit. Look how much of a piece of shit he is. You know, it's just like, <laughs> this guy is super famous, and he talks all this shit on people, or he thinks yeah. he's too good for people, you know? Hollywood. He goes Hollywood. Yeah. And this guy's an asshole, you know? Yeah. So he does this fucking documentary, YouTube documentary. Okay. On Brennan Schaub. Okay. And it's like half an hour, and it gets blocked, and it gets taken down, and it Ooh. gets copyright strike, and da 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 So then the guy fucking goes down the rabbit hole. He finds out that the company giving him the copyright strike is called Bent... Pixels. Bent Pixels. Mm-hmm. And okay. it's owned by Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan's production company. Woo! So everybody's trying to figure out, like, why? why Joe's been in comedy for fucking 20 years. Why would he like Brennan Schaub? He does all this fucking mediocre, typical bullshit comedy. That's why, dog, because he's making some fucking money. Yeah. Getting paid, dog. Yeah. So he well, produced see, his I, see I, I like how we can do this show, and I don't have any, like... You don't have to pay. I don't have to pay nobody, dude. Fuck I don't got no, no karmic we're trying debt. To get paid. I mean, I, yeah, I like and that's that. it. I like it's ridiculous. That. People, I do you think uh, you think your co-host is your fucking friend when yeah. you're paying him? You're fucking out yeah. of control. Get out of here, dog. Get out of here, dog. That guy's your employee. I mean, yeah. you can just yak and yak, dog. That's, I, a lot of people watch Mike Tyson's yeah, he's podcast. Like he's forced to listen to me. The guy fucking fuck kills that, me, dog. Man. His co-host fucking kills me. I don't, I don't know who the fuck he is. I have zero <laughs> idea of wanting to learn who he is. He just sounds like a fucking. He sounds like he spent his entire life at the beach smoking weed. Wow. <laughs> That's literally, yeah, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. I, re- I really, yeah, bro. I really think you should try the toad, man. The toad. Oh. Is, it's a deal. I'm not that loud. You know, you know what's crazy? Is all these people are all stoner boners, and then they go, they break into the fucking, uh, the whole triglyceride train of the fucking thing. Like, how, t- can you say THC? Delta 9 tetrahydrocannabinol. See? That's so dumb. And you can't fucking wash but your shorts. But I'm a genius. And you can't wash your shorts. Fucking stone my, my, I, got, I, got, I got clean pants on. I got that about this shirt no, today. No, that's just what I'm saying. Like, how can... I, I just don't understand how but he But I had to learn that. Commit to... Yeah, you're going to commit that to memory. You're fine. You speak like a normal person. But that guy speaks no. like a fucking beach bum. He's like, right. yeah, bro, yeah. yeah. How are you going to commit to memory the fucking Delta 5, Delta 9? Yeah. Right? All that and the DMT, all this bullshit. But then you talk like an asshole. I don't know. That guy really cares. <laughs> I like hot boxing when it's Mike Tyson's talking. And that's it. Oh man! man. Even though I'd rather listen to Mike Tyson with the fucking stupid this, but with the food. Yeah, I rather oh, listen I like to that his show. than the other guy. Yeah, I like his show for yeah. sure. The other guy's no good for me. But anyways, so the fucking beige frequency. Yeah. They block the beige. thing, then the guy finds out it's Joe Rogan's company, and he unlocks all this thing, then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Right? That's been happening in the scenes like the last two or three months because okay. Brandon's comedy special just bombed. This fool's just on a fat ass decline. 
<laughs> just fat D. He's losing everything, man. You know, he's going to have to change it up because he's super fake. Oh. He's super, super fake. He does a bunch of dumb shit, buys a big-ass truck he doesn't need, keeps it for two months, and turns around and sells it, you know? Yeah. The guy that built the fucking truck was super proud of that truck. He knows trucks. He said, I'm going to build a fucking truck that can drive off of a fucking mountain, dude. <laughs> and Brandon Shaw goes in there like, you have a podcast, man. I want a big truck. I got a family now. Huh? Oh, I can't fit it anywhere. Oh, the valley. Oh, yeah. I'm not allowed to drive it on the, the city streets. dicky fucking problems this guy goes. You know, when I go to the comedy spots and I have a set, the valets, they're not able to park my car. Oh, oh, oh. that's what his podcast is about. This fool's wondering why he's he's wondering why he's losing fucking people, dude. You know, the big fucking dummy. So then he does that to Joe Rogan. Yeah. Right. And they kind of punk him. Eddie punked him and shit. And today, today's what? Wednesday. Okay. So on like Monday, I guess they shot it on Monday. Yesterday, they put up his podcast, which is doing just him by himself. He has one totally by himself. Okay. It sucks dick, dude. He oh, just okay. repeats everything oh. throughout those. He has three podcasts, and he just repeats shit all over the three podcasts. Oh. It's stupid. Boring. Yeah, it's stupid. There's no yeah. original ideas either. Everybody's talking about this other guy, Luke Thomas. Okay. And they're trying to build on his channel. So he, Luke Thomas has his own show. Under Brendan's show, under the same YouTube channel, oh, it just blows up. It just blows up, right? Yeah, that's crazy. I got po- dog. pooped out over there, but look at. He just copies it. He just copies whatever that guy says. The Luke guy. He's trying to go against. Uh, he's, he's a pretty good MMA journalist, and he tries to fucking just ride his coattails, dog. He has no yeah. original ideas. He even says like, I don't even watch the fights anymore, really. Damn. And he's, he's like, oh, it's just so stupid. It's real annoying. So he's on the down climb. He's yeah. on the down, down decline. Climb. He's on the down climb. He's on the downturn on the, <laughs> the decline. Well, anyways, that's good to know uh, and he about fucking, beige frequency. And so, oh, yeah, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so high. No, you're on the same thing. Just breaking news. <coughs> King and Sting. They, they took the episode down. Okay. Yeah. It's up on Thursday. Right. They took it down sometime over the fucking weekend. So Joe Rogan is, is slanging dick. Slanging dick. They just put it back up about an hour ago with that part cut from it. Uh-oh. But for some odd-ass reason, that's I'm telling you, why everybody says, why why did they leave it in? Why don't they just cut it in the first place? It's because they're not. They have z- zero input on the production. Right. They don't know how to fucking use a computer. They don't know how to use a fucking program. None <laughs> like, of oh, them. Shit. None of them. I said some stupid shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't even know when it was. Oh, oh I don't fuck. even know how to watch that file. Can you send it to me? It's all, dog, there's <laughs> Holly, the slaves of Hollywood. Yeah. The slaves of fucking Hollywood. That's if you funny don't, shit, dog. Dog, you'll notice the changes. <laughs> you'll notice the changes in the thumbnails because... The ones that are fucking funky are the ones that I do because I'm still learning how to do it. The good ones, Jordan does. He knows how to use the Photoshop and all the fireworks and all that shit. I'm trying Get to still there. learn that shit. But at least yeah. I can make the motherfucker. Yeah, okay, that's what I tell people about. Let me tell you. Let me tell you owning tell you a about. studio. Well, owning a studio. Well, anybody can own anything, dude. Like, like, cause that's one thing. It's like there's a, there's a, there's a point where... I watched this uh, TED talk one time of this lady, and she was like, "You don't fake it till you make it. Fake it till you become it, right? Right. But don't fake anything, right? Yeah. Don't fake anything, right? I th- I think like, let's say you want to be a music producer or a, or a beat maker, or you want to be a, a a rapper or something like that, right? Or you want to be a singer. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna go around telling yourself, oh, I'm not a singer, I'm not good enough to be a singer? No, you're going to be like, I really want to be a singer, yeah. right? And yeah. you try really hard to be a singer and whatever like that. Yeah. It's like that, uh, yeah, like people, that stupid small talk when people ask you, what do you do? Well, what do you yeah. do? Like, what do you mean what I do? What do I do? What do I do for money? Things, yeah, I do though. a lot of things. I do, what do you mean do I do for money? Do you mean what, like, what do I do? And then they all, everybody, you know, when everybody gets yeah, famous, they kind of have the same advice. They go, oh, do what you love. You'll never work a day in your life. Or, yeah, but you they're like being paid job, to say that. They don't even job. love to do that. Yeah. They would, they, That's what's so I, I think fake. everybody's still kind of like, even if you're a fucking doctor or you're a, a, a whatever, if you go, if you have a job, like this is your job, 
for this amount of time or for this, like, uh, the exchange. For these actions, you will be paid this much. You know, if it's like that, okay, it sucks. I think you want to run away from it because it's yeah. a, it's a con, it's a confine. You know, right. the rebellious it's like a prison system. kicks in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but if you own something, yeah, then it's if you own it becomes more like a journey. Like, okay, let's say I own a warehouse. Yeah, then it's like okay, with the now now my job is I need to get someone to rent the warehouse space. Right, you know, or whatever. I need to fill the warehouse. Or I got to do something to paint with this warehouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you have like yeah, you different, do but it'll change. The the missions will change. Right, you know. Yeah, and I think that's where Brennan Shop fucked up, dog. He forgot to change his mission. He just does the same thing. He did, he goes in, he looks at his time. I go in, I spend two hours, and that's it. Yeah, he doesn't take any pride in it. He doesn't want to yeah, do anything with it. All yeah. he wants to do is get it over with. Right. And Collect everybody can see that. Everybody can tell that. Right. Yeah, that sucks when that happens. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're not doing something that you really want to be doing. Yeah. And you don't yeah. even want... And you. It's not even like that you want to do it, but you'll do it and you'll want to... You'll want it to look good. Yeah. Because you did it. Yeah. Like, it still reflects on you. He has this weird disconnect where he doesn't think it reflects on him. Oh. Uh, His show is called Below the Belt. Okay? No. Below the Belt. Okay. All right. That doesn't sound very nice. Whatever. What does it sound like? A fucking fighting show, right? Yeah. Okay. This fucking guy on Joe Rogan goes, well, he was talking about something he talked about. Or I don't know. They brought, I don't know. I don't know every specific thing, but <laughs> the show got brought up and he goes, yeah, this is my fight show. And he corrected himself. He goes, well, you know, it's more of a lifestyle show and sometimes we talk about the fights. Oh. It's called Below the Belt. His mission was... I'm going to have an MMA show. His yeah. fucking stupid contract with fucking Showtime. Yeah. With a big parent company. With success. Six, his success yeah. of signing a fucking deal with a parent company yeah. was something that he completely was like, oh, no, not anymore. No, it's just mine. No, no, no. You know? Uh, he's, 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 off his, he's out of his fucking mind. Yeah. He's, he's in La La Land. Literally. Yeah. He's literally in La La Land. He's yeah. in fucking L.A., and he's out of his fucking mind where he's so disconnected he's not even being a real person. <laughs> you know? And everybody's tired of it, dog. I used to love that shit, dog. I would watch it as soon as it came out. Both of them. Fucking Brian Callens, dog. Yeah. I love Brian Callens, that CIA yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> dog, he's funny, though, that motherfucker CIA. Yeah, you know, there's funny. a reason, though. He, he talks about him. And he, he like, there's weird kind of levels of honesty. Crazy. Right? There's weird kind of levels of honesty and shit. But what he says is why he wanted to be a fucking actor was either he was opified and, you know. Right, brain can bring. They wanted him to be an actor. But he talks about how his dad, like, didn't really help him and shit. Of course he had money. Of course he was rich, you know. But, like, if you ain't doing shit for the family, I've seen rich kids that are not doing what their parents want them to do. Yeah. They're regular ass kids then. Yeah. You know? Like you're only fucking a rich kid if your family's like uber, uber rich and they don't give a fuck. Yeah. Or if you're doing what they want them to do. Like, no, nah, every weekend I work with my dad. Yeah. And he, bam, he gives me $1,000 on my fucking card. Wow. Every fucking, you know what I mean? I knew yeah. kids like that. Well, like they would not, like, oh, I work for my dad. Nice. But they have a <laughs> shitload of money, you know? Yeah. Those that's a different kind of rich kid. I think Brian Callen was the opposite. All right? I think he was like, how many times can you fucking call and say, hey, I need another 5000 Hey, it's not yeah. a fucking bank, dude. You know what I yeah. mean? And it's like, if a, if a parent is a real parent, they're going to be like, no. Fuck, yeah. Maybe your mom will be a little soft once or twice. But dog, yeah, yeah. that shit runs out. That shit runs out. No yeah. matter. Of runs course out. they have the money. They can give you a fucking... They give you ten thousand dollars right now. Right. Write you a fucking check. Nine right. ninety nine. Don't have to report it. You know, nine 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 nine. Exactly. Yeah. Right under ten thousand. Give it right to you. You know, but if they what did it fifteen fucking times. Yeah. You know, you or if you told them this is the one, time. this is the one, this is the one. Yeah. Yeah. I think Brian Counts was kind of like that. That's why that fool's so proud of the stupid ass TV shows and acting <laughs> and shit. You know. Oh, what was that thing that you were? That's crazy. Tell that me? I feel like I've known these gonna, people. You were trying to say something about this. I don't know these people. Oh, they're that, getting yeah, real yeah. mad. They're getting real mad at us. Oh, oh man. Tell them, tell them to suck my 
Yeah, I'm blocked on Instagram for saying. Yeah, I know that's frequency. crazy. Yeah, people calling me troll. Bay I'm not troll, dog. I'm just cooler than you. I'm just spreading knowledge, dog. Yeah. I'm not yeah. even like, hey, you fucking dumb thick. Yeah. I'm just like. Hashtag, hashtag beige frequency. Oh, dog. I'll do that. I'll tell him I don't like your goddamn mustache, like your mustache and your stupid Michael hat Bolton. and your stupid fucking Michael Bolton, John Bolton, whoever. Your services are no longer needed. Okay? September 11th. September 11th. You can't learn to be dumb. Right. What's right? the focus? What's the focus? <laughs> you can't learn to be dumb. <sighs> I'll tell you that shit. Wow. It's hard. I wish. I wish I didn't have to fucking see so many fucking... Crazy signs and crazy... Stupid things, dude. I'm telling you. You can't learn to be dumb. That means you... If you're awake, you're awake. You can't go back to sleep. Once you're... It's real hard to be like... Yeah. I really think about the truth. I really want to know shit. I don't trust the... You know, let's say someone... You don't trust cops. The establishment. Yeah, but let's say you don't trust cops, specifically right. cops, and then all of a sudden you're like pro cop, super pro cop, and That'd like be weird. making excuses for cops and shit, you know, the thin blue line and all that. Nobody really does that, you know? No. You know who did that? Who? Joe Rogan. Oh, he's a super cop guy? Mm, well, not so much cops, but he was definitely he's a. Just like, I got my. Fuck the government guy, and. Yeah, and then he turned into a now? super I'm um, the government guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I gotta be like that. He he's like dog. He even lets it out. He he he'll let it out. Like you'll you really want those podcasts where he's with his friends because then it he's guard he's, is a little bit down and it's more the he's person real yeah yeah. And he said they were talking about Kardashians and having Kanye on the show and shit. And he's yeah. like, oh maybe not Kanye. I don't think Kanye. I don't think it would oh, be good for see, him. That's what he said. I don't think he's a suck my dick. And then they said. That's well, what Kanye about say. Kim? What about the Kardashians? Would you ever, ever have them on? And he goes, I would have her on to talk about what she's doing with prisons. Da -na 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 -na. You know, like he just, I think it comes from worrying about the other person having agenda. You don't realize that you turns that turns into your agenda. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because people get on there and they're like not even talking to Joe Rogan. They're just like bullshitting and they're like, yeah. I got a new, I got a new this. Kind of Mike Tyson did that. He yeah. went on there and he's just talking about, I got the new ranch up in there, man. You get the we're going to grow some weed. We're going to get people go to learn how to grow weed. And, you know? <laughs> it's going to be great. It's going to be great. <laughs> Mike Tyson ranch coming soon and shit. So I, I don't know. I, it's really, a, it's like a sense of self thing. It's a sense of self thing. Okay, let's say, let's, let's, let's totally flip it. Let's totally flip it. Brendan Schaub, the big dumb fuck. Yeah. <laughs> shouldn't be put in the position where you have to lie from your friend. Honestly, yeah. to be honest, if your friend's cheating on his fucking wife, it's not your secret to that. keep. You know what I mean? That's right. none of your fucking business. The truth is the truth. He let yeah, the truth a, out. That's right. it. You know what I mean? You're stupid. It was a joke. And then the person goes, oh, that was a joke, but that's actually true. Mm-hmm. Who's bad is that? I bet. I, I, dog, I guarantee stupid, right? this... World is fucking crazy. I guarantee there's shit that happened with that that we have no idea. Like, the bitches were on his fucking thing. Like, hey, oh my god, I'm one of them. Yeah, that's me. I was I'm sucking on this them. Joe. <laughs> Toe Rogan. I'm sucking on. Uh, sucking off Toe Rogan. That's what she says. Okay, so, so bass frequency. Is but that's, a, you know, that flip side. Oh, we're let's over there. Let's be fair. Yeah, let's be fair. Flip okay. side. Fairness. He should not be... Spill some soda. He should not be having to keep his friends' secrets, dog. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a shitty position to be in. And I've, I put people in that position. I'm not going to lie. I've been that dickhead. And it's my fault. You know what yeah. I mean? That situation wouldn't occur if you weren't fucking slanging dick where you had some woman <laughs> at home. And if, if that's, and if it's okay, then it's okay for people to learn and people to know. And, right. if, and if you have to keep Including? it a secret and make your friend cut it after having it for three Ooh. days up there, right? Let's see. We got to listen and see what Theo Vaughn says. Because Theo Ooh. Vaughn tells the truth and he keeps it out. And he fucking, he'll <laughs> say something a little underhanded like, man, the truth is the truth, man. <laughs> you know? And no one wants to be honest and say that Joe Rogan gives them fucking shitty vibes. Everybody wants to be on Joe Rogan's good side. Right. But nobody. Except for uh, Owen Benjamin. Owen Benjamin. 
<laughs> Triple OG, dog. Right. Shout out White Supremacist South Series. Look how big. <laughs> look fuck? how big it is. Look how big the White Claw got. And he was the, one of the most prominent White Claw drinkers. <laughs> White Claw sold out. They sold out, dog. They use. They try to use the op, man. They try to op them up. Man. He moved away to a farm, dude. Took his family to a farm. They're Sorry. from there, dog. No. No, they're from there. He's always been milking goats? Yeah. Since day one? Yeah, yeah. They're from that town. He didn't just find a random ass town. I thought he was from L.A., like, trying to be a comedian or some shit. Yeah, well, he was in L.A. trying to be a comedian. I mean, he was, like, in a couple movies, I think. But then he moved him out there because Holly Weird, dog. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, too. Oh, I think uh, I want to see what happens with this video that Snoop Dogg talking about. Oh, yeah. He was talking about he doesn't is that support. that video? I don't know when it was, but I had never seen that before. Snoop Dogg talking about vaccines. He said, don't get the flu shot. And he says, I think that they're, he said something crazy, like it's that they're, they're injecting you with something that takes over your, that your mind and you. your body and yeah. controls you. Yeah, he just he doesn't know how to fucking articulate it. That's and it's crazy. Just, you know, there was a scene in X-Men, right? I think it was the second one. Okay. Right, the older ones. And, uh. The girl honey potted the prison guard. The prison guard is a fucking fat guy who goes out for drinks, right? Honey potted him, knocked him out, and then shot him up with a bunch of liquid iron. Oh. Okay. Liquid iron. So he kind of felt shitty, but he still went to work the next day. Okay. And Magneto, he could sense that he had the liquid iron, more iron in his in his body. Weird. And okay. Like sucked it out of him, dog. And then used that. that shit to escape, you know? Oh, like a magnet? Yeah, because that's, you know, Magneto. Where did it come Do out of his get butt? it? Yeah, but it can where to come out of him? <laughs> just like it was like like little little all over his body. So uh, it was like little particles, you know, through his pores. Yeah. Oh. And he died, and then he made like you know just because he was living like in a plastic cell because he's Magneto. Oh, okay. They can't have anything metal. The guards have like plastic oh, like, batons and glass electric- floors and shit. Yeah. Damn. Can't have no metal around him. He'll fucking just take it. You know, electric- he can control it. Whoa. So what if it's? Whoa. To that effect, but not that advanced, right? All this aluminum. I think it is. What if it is? Right? Damn. But it's just like, you know, it just it started off as like an experiment and then it... What if like, it, fuck, what if like uh, food, right? Okay. And it has a certain metal in it that reacts with your metal in it. Oh. And it gives you different reactions. Right. Yeah. That they control and that they know. Oh, they're gonna do that with that the five G. This way, right? Five G, dude. What if they have like, you know, you know those collector DVDs where they have the metal boxes? What yeah. if they make it out of special metal that makes you like more drawn to it? Like, oh yeah, oh, I need to buy this Star Trek bullshit. <laughs> the metallic one. It's like the holographic Pokemon cards, though. right? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Look at this. This is different. I need this. This it's is more, special. This is special. This is, this is <laughs> Look at it. It moves a little bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, we're out of here. Back in the flip side. We're fucking out of here. Brendan Shaw. As above, done, so sign. below. Brendan Shaw. No, 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 no. no. R.I.P. We're not done yet. <laughs> T. Boone Pickens. R.I.P. R.I.P. Brendan Shaw. Michael Bolton. It's terrible no. music. I like the movie Office Space, though. You ever watch that? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, that movie's good. What are you good. talking about Michael Bolton? Is he in that movie? That's the guy's name is is Michael Bolton. Oh, like the singer. I remember yeah, And that. they go, oh, I like the singer. He says, no, not so, like no, the singer. No, not related. I like hip-hop, dog. Bam. All right, we got to salute. Close for lunch. We got to salute. Oh. It's time. Da, 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 da. We ain't doing it. Okay, we're going to cut this part out. Talk about somebody's dick. We'll cut it out. Who? I don't know. <laughs> like, Brendan Schaub, out somebody so we can cut it out. Out somebody. Oh, no. I don't want to do that. Yeah, get him. Who? Who? Who needs to be got? Anybody. Get him. Hurry, and then we'll cut it out. It's controversy. Well, well I think we got to go after all those, uh, um, maybe they're like Israeli art students or something. Who? I don't know what they call them, dude. What are they? What do they call them? When the buildings 
come falling down and you wonder, was it a plane? Was it a, was it a jet? Was it a, was it a missile? Or was it a controlled demolition with thermite? And we had that shit planned for a long ass fucking time and just, why'd you go to work that day? Nobody knows. But, Seth MacFarlane, Mark Wahlberg. Seth MacFarlane, Mark Wahlberg, Marky Mark. RIP. They were supposed to be on that fucking plane and they didn't. Both of them. Damn. You think they had a pilot in there? I think it was drones. Damn. I don't know. It's so hard to unpack. That's why we didn't really talk about it. Don't do it. I'd like to thank all of the people in the armed forces or something. And uh, not the cops, though. Except when they don't give me a ticket. That's kind of nice. And just give me a warning because I have white skin. We're going to overturn the Fears Act. Yeah. And uh, close the marriage loophole. Save the kids. And the Fears Doctrine. Fucking fuck the Fears Doctrine. Close for lunch.